Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. It's now December, there's no leaves left on the trees. So we are very busy with our own farm again, uh, although we do only have £12,000, but that's going to change pretty soon. We've just had the addition of the sheep and the strawberries are almost ready. So this is very good news, you can see they're all in boxes and crates out here. Um, so I think the price is actually increasing as the winter goes on. More demand. Just see how many we currently have. 4,749 litres. Not bad. And we still have plenty of water. About half a tank. Uh, it would need to be filled up at some point. Actually, I might still have some left over from when I was doing the sheep. Just put the time to times 10. I do. In fact, uh, let's just top up the sheep water. There we go. Take this round here. We'll go and put the rest into the greenhouse. Now I'm guessing it's actually going to take all of it, since the first time round it took a whole tanker, no problem at all, and it would have still had space for more. So, yeah, I'm expecting all that to go, which is absolutely fine since it didn't cost us anything. Pumped it out of the river. But yeah, the sooner we can sell something, the better. We do need to get money in. Oh, it didn't take it all. Wow. There are still a few leaves left on the trees over here. Some of them are bare, but yeah, they've nearly all gone. Winter is uh, is really here. I don't know if we're going to get any snow. It will be interesting to see. But you can see the light is very low. The sun is low in the sky. And my bells are outside. We do not want to have these hard-earned bells left outside for them to deteriorate and rot away. So we've already used some of this. There's only 1,500 litres left in it. I've been storing my bells over here next to the header trailer. I think actually maybe we'd better to put the other bale in first since it's so much larger. Hmm. Or maybe I can just, well, not demolish the straw stack, but yeah, maybe I can put the other one in front. Just leave it up to the side. It is over there in the trailer. Now I don't know yet, when I come to mow our field, which will be in the spring, uh, whether or not I'm going to use a baler, or if I'm going to pick it up loose. We can still pick it up loose, before you're taking the straps off. Uh, yes, if we get a loading wagon, we can pick it up, and we can put it into the hayloft. Good way of storing it. The grass field in general though is looking nice. Looking very healthy. So. Are we going to get a new attractor? We have three. We could sell two and buy one newer, slightly bigger one. I think at the moment we're not really too concerned about the tractors, it is the implements. We are lacking implements. In the previous episode I did that really good hay job. It took a bit of time, but it did pay off. It turned out to be really good. I wonder how much wool we have got. Oh, same with the honey, actually. I wonder how much honey we've got. We may well be making a trip to various cell points today. And we still need to get a fertilizer spreader. So let's take a look at the used machinery. It's on this tab here. Oh, wow. There's quite a few things here. Nothing that we could really uh, use desperately. There is another even bigger cultivator, so we could upgrade again. There's also a bigger drill. But yes, it's £68,000, even with 43% off, we can't afford that. That is handy, but that's more for the Alpine regions. We, If we became desperate, we could mow this whole field with that. Uh, that is going to be a bit of a job, though. I haven't even looked to see how much a mower is. I wonder how much a mower costs. One which goes on the tractor. 12000 And 9500 one there. 52. I think we're just going to have to wait for one of these to pop up in the used machinery market. If a fertilizer spreader had been in this, I would have been buying it straight away if I had the money. I hope we will have the money for one. I'm only looking for a cheap one. Is that pallet full? I think the bees might have hibernated now, whatever they do. I'm not too sure what bees do in the winter, but I'm guessing they hibernate in some way. Yeah, so that's probably the end of the honey for now. 
Uh, we're going to have to get that loaded up. Oh, it's slightly too heavy. Slightly too heavy to pick up by hand. And we can also take the strawberries if the price is right. Let's just take a look at that. Strawberries. They are just here. They are increasing. But yep, yeah, as you can see, the price goes up and up. Peaks around February time. Looking good. So probably still worth waiting for the strawberries. And then we have the wall on the right hand side. So it's all looking good, but probably not much income until the spring. Just put that trailer there. Now one thing that we do need, fairly desperately, is a mulcher because between these vines in our little vineyard, it's not a very big vineyard, it will grow in the future. Uh, we do need to mulch. Now let's just see here. Yes, that grass couldn't really get much lower. It is in its winter stage at the moment. But when the spring comes, we will have to mulch between here and also fertilize and spray. But it's looking good. It is uh, it is growing. Dormant at the moment, but when the spring arrives, it'll be a different story. We're probably going to skip January and February because there's going to be nothing to do. We can do some cultivating. Field number 19 is a big field and it will cost us £1,500 for the tractor and for the cultivator. But it does mean that we're going to experience something pretty big. So uh, since there's nothing else to do at the moment, I'm going to borrow those and I'm going to go and use them. This will be interesting because everything is fine here. The sheep have got all their water and food. Uh, the greenhouse is fine. The bees are fine, <laughs> I hope. And uh, yeah, it's the, the fields are pretty much dormant at the moment. So let's go over there. And we just tab through. There we go. The Rostomash 2375. What a massive piece of equipment. So with this kind of job, we're not actually going to have a huge benefit, a perk, uh, like we did with the hay. Because with the hay, I got some extra hay, which I could use. With this, we are cultivating somebody's field. And that's pretty much all we have to do. There's nothing else. There's no bonus. Um, now this is obviously massive, probably better suited on Elm Creek, but let me just take a look on this map at the top here, Phil number 19 is there, to get there, I think if we turn right, I've never been that way before, turn right and then, well, eventually turn right again, we'll get it done, uh, it's probably still going to take a bit of time though, even though it's big, I think 19 is the second biggest field on this map. Yes, we're taking up the whole road. But because we can't afford bigger machinery at the moment, this is a good way of using it. And it's not quite the same as the leasing on this game. It's more borrowing this. You borrow it. I'm guessing if we were to roleplay that, we'd be borrowing it from the farmer that owns the land. Let's keep an eye on the road so we don't go and crash into a car. <laughs> We've got some pretty wide wheels. Wow, this is big. Okay, and I will see you when we get closer to the top. Just letting the traffic pass. There's, well, there was quite a bit. Hmm, they've disappeared. Um, right. Almost there. Foot number 19 is just around the corner. Yeah, those poplar trees still have a few leaves on them. Seems to be correct. I know it's not December yet, but I'm looking out my window and I've got poplar trees very similar to that. And they have still a lot of leaves on them, actually. I know it's November, but they've almost lost them. Right. It begins. This is going to be quite a job, actually. But we're going to get a few thousand pounds out of it. There is the texture. The cultivated texture. This is what used to be a cotton crop. It's all been harvested. Go to first person view. And I guess if you really wanted to follow the progress of a particular field, you could always do a contract which shows up for that field. I'm guessing in a few months time there'll be another one for drilling, fertilizing, harvesting. So yeah, we could 
pretty much own 19, kind of. Well, not pretty much own, but we could pretty much um, manage 19 ourselves, get paid for it, do all the work for the owner. Not that I'm going to, though. I think we're going to be far too busy with our own farm. But that option would be there. Right, so I'm going to continue. We are going to keep the time at times 10 for now. I might change it later. Drop it down a bit. Times 6. That's the next one down. Um, but yeah, the roster mash that we have here seems to be very capable of getting this all done. Now, we might be able to even set a worker to do this if I didn't want to do it myself. But I think it makes sense to do it ourselves. Much more profit that way. Set cruise control. I do still have it in automatic, so it's going to select the right gear on its own. But you can see, it's a fairly vast field. So let's crack on. This field is even bigger than I thought. This is going to take a long time. I think I will actually put on a worker, get the job done. Uh, so yes, whilst we're still here, let me just jump out. See how well it gets it done. Uh, it's also uh, quite steep. For pulling that up there, you can really feel the tractor struggling. So anyway, it should be fine. Shouldn't have any problems. What I need to do is find another way of making money at the same time. I just want to check the used machinery again. These things can change. Something might have disappeared from this list. I think, it, yeah, pretty sure it has. Um, yeah, that is annoying. I don't know if I should get it. I really don't know. Oh, it's a tough one. Anyway, yeah, it seems to be fine. We can leave it to it, and then when it's done, we can uh, just collect the money. Nice and simple. Now the price for honey is currently really good. I do want to start making products, but we're not really in a position just yet, but it will, we will be soon. We definitely will be, and we're gonna start doing that. Uh, but look at that price. That's per 1,000 liters. I don't know how many liters we have, but I'm just gonna tag that place just so I know exactly where it is. Let's see here. It will be flashing, there it is. The farm shop. So we need the pickup truck. We don't need the trailer. We can just put it straight into the back. Reverse out of here. And we'll make our way over to the beehive. Yeah, although it is December, the weather is still quite nice. Hello, sheep. Yeah, I was so pleased when I bought them yesterday. Right, so, we need to get a... Do we have a pallet fork? I don't think we do have a pallet fork. The bell spike <laughs> maybe would pick it up, but we really shouldn't do that. I need to think of a good place to keep all of my front loader attachments. I would say... Actually, I wonder if we can... Fit a few things behind here. Maybe here. It's not a place that I visit very often. It keeps them out of the way. There we go. So, yeah, how expensive? How expensive are they? It shouldn't be too much money. Just for a pallet fork. Whoops. This is where we need to be. £1,700. 
Obviously, it'd be very nice to get a used one, but there's none available at the moment. So let's go and pick that up. Then we can pick up the pallet of honey, put it into the back, and we'll take it to the farm shop and make some money. There it is. Now, I know of a very good way to expand the farm, and that would be to sell one of our tractors. But do we? This is the thing: we might need three. They are worth about eighty or ninety thousand pounds each. The two big ones. So, if I was to sell them, if I was to sell one, what could we do in return to then make money fast enough to then replace the tractor in the near future? And really, I'm thinking animals and greenhouses. They could make quite a bit of money. Um, we can afford to get some more sheep. There's space for five more sheep in the enclosure. We can have up to 15. And greenhouses aren't that expensive. And the products that are produced there are produced quite quickly. But then again, when we want to buy a replacement tractor, we probably want to go for something which is newer. So it's all a bit of a a bit of a debate, you've got to debate whether or not it's worth doing. It's a little bit of a gamble. Anyway, we return. I can't wait to mow that field. Which is partly the reason why I want to get to the spring. Right, so we'll just align and then I can put it into the back. We will make about four thousand pounds, well, maybe three and a half thousand pounds profit from doing the cultivating. Just trying to line myself a bit better there. There we go. And then we need to put the back down. We can slide it in. We have. 120 litres and it is full but that is probably about let me think 300 and something pounds but still 300 and something pounds for the bees and they take no maintenance at all isn't too bad and they'll be producing more honey again soon right put a strap over and we'll be off our cell point is just over there. Here we are, this is the place, there we go. 418 pounds. A little bit more than expected. Alright, so the main cell point here is actually there, where the beacon of light is. Uh, but for the honey, and probably some other products, there is another trigger just around the back there. Okay, so let's get back to the farm, and it'll be good to check up on the cultivator. Hopefully it's all going well. I might take over again later. Park back in our little garage. Right, how is it doing? It has progressed. Ah, it's not too bad, actually. It has done that even faster than expected. Uh, it always seems to be the same, whenever you leave a worker going, you're always surprised by how much it's covered. Good, so yes, I will do some more, just to save some money. But then when it's done, I'm going to move on. We're going to pass a couple of months, since, as you can tell, we are very short of jobs. If we had a huge animal farm, we wouldn't be. But in these early stages, yeah, we just... We, we need to move on, we need to get back to the spring. Really see the wind blowing that crop there. Could be grass. Right, okay then, so I'll just continue with this. And um, it will actually say we've completed the contract before I've covered all the ground. We could then accept it. We, we could just get paid and leave the final piece. It, I think it actually tends to cultivate the final piece on its own anyway. Or we could do the rest. Uh, it just depends how realistic we want to be. And I guess it's going to depend how much is actually left. We might have 
a progress bar? We do, 63%. So, um, yeah. <laughs> if we're going by that, we still have plenty to do. Yeah, definitely slow going uphill. It's quite happy going downhill. Nine miles per hour. I think though, what it is, is it's just struggling to find the correct gear. If we had this in manual mode, uh, then it would be better because then I could decide myself which gear to put it into. Get the right power to speed ratio. Anyway, I'm expecting it to say job completed any second. Let's just see, 96%. Yep. Yeah. So probably by the time we get down to the bottom, it will let me complete it. It's starting to get dark as well. We've got all the lights on the tractor. Anyway, is it about to say completed? Let's see. Nope. Okay, better start heading back up again. I guarantee when I look at it, it's going to say 99%. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so close. I knew it was close. Now, the previous cultivating job I did completed the whole thing even after it's a contract finished uh, but for this one I think I'm just going to complete it because it is time to move on after all it's not me deciding to finish it's the game done okay so 3,997 pounds because we had to pay for the tractor we've collected it and you can see the worker has uh, the worker has finished everything in different texture now it's got some rocks on the surface 3,900, uh, sorry, 3,690. Right, well, let's get back to the farm. It's given us a bit of money, but it was a pretty big job. So, yeah, the time has come to do some resting. And we can, we can go and sleep at the house. I'm ready for the spring. Uh, where should we see here? Nine o'clock. So this is going to be January. I wonder if it'll snow. Oh, wow. It is snowing. Oh, nice. Yes. Snow on the farm. I wonder if we're going to have any accumulations. Wow. So, nothing accumulating yet. Very frosty looking road. Very frosty trees. This is the first snow I've seen in FS22. Over time, I'm guessing it will start to settle, and we're going to have some uh, accumulations of snow. There's my grass, my fresh grass. Good job I didn't mow it. It'd be frozen to death. My sheep. Have you got enough water? They do. Have you got enough food? Yep, good. So they should be okay. Something really magical about snow. Let's check the weather forecast. Oh yes, so it's going to snow for some time, all this morning. Looks like it's probably going to melt this afternoon though, because it's going to be uh, much milder. The sun's going to come out. I'll put the time to times 120 again, just to see if we do get any snow accumulations. Nice, there we go. It has started to settle. It's a white January. Hooray! Right, okay, let's get this tractor started up. Bit of a cold start. We actually could do with going to get some more water. 
to make sure we have enough for the sheep and for the greenhouses. Not much left in here. It's still left 45 litres. They really don't take too much. And because it is a new day, I'm going to take a look at the used machinery market and see if there is anything of interest. Right, what do we have? We've still got the cultivator. Nobody's bought that yet. That's for sugarcane. And that there is for... Well, it's an auger wagon. Um, I'm guessing it's for a root crop. Yeah, it's for potatoes. Uh, but yeah, 46% saving. But nothing there for us to use. Um, yeah, it's not going to be... Well, the cultivator actually is. That's a pretty good deal. But as we've just got a new cultivator, I think we should probably save our money. Right, so I'm going to go and fill up with water. Make sure we have enough. I wonder what kind of contracts are available in the snow. Because yesterday, there was only cultivating. Because it's just, everything's frozen, so there's not much going on. Let's take a look. You can still cultivate. Okay, well, we're not going to do any more cultivating. And I, I really want to focus on our own farm, instead of working for other people because it's not it's not really worth it it is worth it but it's not like not as worth it as it is when you're selling your own products your own produce so yeah my own farm is the focus now we've just got to get through January and February and then it's all change oh slippery going down here slipped on the way in Very magical. Yep, next episode we'll have skipped through February. We'll be into March or April. Uh, things will be really different. We'll be looking to buy a mower so that we can cut our own grass. I want to get grass into that pit as soon as possible. The pit which is in the yard needs to be filled up. Then we can start to sell our own silage. And it also means biogas. So if we were to get a methane powered tractor, then we could run it on that. No, my main focus is just to sell silage, make some good money. That's full. This is certainly my spot now. The place which will have a load of tyre marks. Whoever owns this will be thinking, who keeps driving in there? Our player should really change his clothes too. We've been wearing the same clothes for the whole series so far. We can do this. If we go to the house, we can head into the wardrobe and select some new clothes. We will do it. But it's been very nice to see the snow. Even though, yeah, really we want to be back in the spring. This is for the greenhouse. Uh, and I think it's all going well still. As I said, the price for the strawberries will actually be peaking around this time. So if it if they're good, we can sell them now. Just put as much water in there as possible. So it's taken 20%. Not bad. Uh, yeah, so strawberries. Strawberries are on this list. Interesting. Yeah, they, they should be... Uh, they should be quite good. I think actually it might be worth just selling everything that we have. Take it to the same place as the honey before it decreases any further. We have quite a lot. 7,748 litres. And I believe we can pick up those crates by hand. So if we get the pickup truck. Suitable vehicle for the weather. We're going to need our trailer. put it just over here I will attempt to reverse up to it in first person view well it was close enough there we go and yeah let's get these picked up we have some frozen strawberries
Right, so I'm going to start loading these up. I was just figuring out exactly how this works. Because we are storing them, it means that more pallets are going to spawn. Um, you can only obviously fit so many on a, on a pallet like this. So I need to be prepared for a substantial amount of strawberries. As it turns out, I should have been selling them. I should have been selling them way faster than this. You can change the output mode to selling uh, instead of storing. But if I just keep loading up, let's just see how many pallets there are. I've, I've taken a few, made over a thousand pounds already. I was just practicing with them. Yep, you look away and a load more appear. Right, that's the third layer done. I don't know how many are left. It will be interesting to find out. But in future, I'm not going to let so many grow. I need to sell them as we get a full trailer load. If we have that big crone trailer, then we could get a substantial amount in each load. But as I'm still practicing with the... Uh, the greenhouses. I'm not too sure if uh, changing the output mode to selling is a better option. Right, let's see now, because that is layer number four completed. Let's see how many we have left. Uh, 3,173. So it's just something we're going to have to manage. I will try and do layer five, but this is pushing it. So yeah. Uh, really, really substantial amount. I'm guessing it's about 100 litres per pallet. And I'm not looking uh, <laughs> at this with great confidence. It looks a bit one-sided. Ah, oh, now I've not left space. Slide that across. Right. What do we have left? We'll do the rest another day. 2,429, so it's not bad, That's, we have we have a lot on here, wow, let's make our way to the cell point, see how much we can make, and with the snow, if it gets really deep, we can, we can deal with it, snow plows, road salt, we don't have to be snowed in, the forecast was right, the snow has melted, it's much milder this afternoon, taking every corner with uh, great care. I can see this load going flying otherwise. And we have 3,750 litres on board. Not too sure what that equates to, but it sounds good. So we need to go around the back. Prepare for some good money, potentially. I'm so pleased to finally get some money in. We need it. That's a lot of strawberries to sell. And the money is going crazy. Uh, £2,687. For a farm of our size, that's not bad. Okay, just going to get back to the farm. And then we're going to wrap it up for today. We're home. So over the course of the next couple of months, when I'm going to be passing time, I'm going to make sure that the sheep are always very happy, make sure they have enough food and water. I don't think they're going to take much work anyway, there's only ten of them. They've barely consumed the water in particular. And then, yeah, next episode it should be very early spring. So with a bit of luck, we'll have grass growing. Let's just check the um, used machinery once again. Oh, look! A sunflower header has popped up, but it's no use to us. Not at the moment, anyway. We're looking for mowers. Oh yes, and the wool. More should have spawned by the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, or more honey as well. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.